The Bestiary of Ashen by the Priest Seamus of House Stag. Griffin. The Griffin safeguard of their eggs ferociously clawing and snapping at anyone who approaches, but if ever an egg is lost, even through the trickery of a thief or passing goblin, the Griffin abandons all chase in order to protect the eggs remaining. The mother and father, coupled for life, know that if they leave the nest for one, the other shall perish. Asha created these marvelous children to teach us that when we have lost a child, one must not grieve more than seven days nor fall into a loveless despair for the sake of the family's other children that remain amongst the living in a blessing of the dragon. Horse. Asha asked the horses on the day they were created, what purpose on Ashen do you most desire? The horses answered, to serve the children of air and help them achieve greater things. And so Asha made them hooves and four legs and a very strong back, and gave them to humans, to help them in their labors and journeys. It is good to treat these beasts with care and respect, for they have placed great hopes in our kind, as peasants place upon their lords. Boar. Wounded the boar has the strength of a horse and the rage of a cyclops. Asha made it so to warn hunters against the dangers of hunting with crossbow, which cannot kill it. Only spear and courage might hunt this majestic and fine-tasting beast. Manticore. The manticore remi reminds Elrath's ser servants that even a creature with teeth and claws like sharp daggers can still pack a sting. Just as the mother of dragons has three faces, the manticore has three bites. This is why certain merchants insist on signing contracts in, in the venom of the manticore to remind all present that breaking a contract can have visible and invisible consequences. Badger. The badger prefers raising its youth under the protection of the tree. It is a peaceful creature, eating leaves, roots, and grass that surround its home. It was made by Asha to teach us never to disturb the sanctity of another friend's home, lest even the most gentle of creatures become a monster capable of murdering. Priest Seamus of Staghouse.